The Weber State basketball team in action today, taking on Utah in the final year of the Beehive Classic played at Vivint Smart Home Arena. The Utes looking for their fourth straight win, playing without point guard Raylan Jones. Weber State jumps out to the early lead. Cam Davis with a one handed jam. Wildcats up five. The running Utes on the run ahead to Timmy Allen. He had a dozen points in the first half alone. His bucket tied it up, then off to Steele. Booth Gotch ahead of the pack for the breakaway jam. Eight points, six boards. Allen weaving his way through Weber State, Weber State defense off the glass and in. 19 points to lead all scorers today. Weber trying to hang in there on the break. Jarek Harding to Davis, another jam. Weber was down six at the break, 31 25. Second half, Utah taking control. Carlson working it down low for the bucket. Utes up by 10. And Jackson Brenchley knocks down the three ball from the corner. Utes up by 16. Weber State shot just 33% from the field. Jarek Harding with a fadeaway. He had 17 to lead the Cats, but Utah too big. For Weber State, they get the bucket here and they win it by 11, 60 to 49. Dana Green at the game covering it for us. He joins us now live from the arena. Dana, this Utah team has been a surprise so far this season. Yeah, they really have, and this was not the prettiest game we've ever seen, not by a long shot. But the Utes, even without Rylan Jones, really stepped up their defense. Weber State just could not make a shot. Timmy Allen was the only Ute in double figures with 19 points, and the Utes. In their first meeting with Weber State in eight years, get their fourth straight win. Yeah, it was an ugly one, uh, especially down the stretch, but I'm glad we were able to tough it out and on to the next one. I'm proud of our guys because we didn't shoot the ball well. And a lot of times when you don't shoot the ball well, you take that garbage with you to the defensive end and you're not able to get stops. And it's a big win for us and proud of the guys. It was a long week. Finals week's always really hard. Whatever Ryland's not playing at the one, I'll you know, step in. So, like this week, I was focused on, you know, trying to, you know, execute the offense a little bit more. Yeah, we missed open shots, guys. We missed open shots. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. It's, it was frustrating. We missed five layups. I thought our guys fought and competed their tails off. Showed a lot of toughness, showed a lot of grit. Show in, in the final game of the short lived history of the Beehive Classic. It's going to be BYU and Utah State coming up at the top of the hour. This should be a great one. BYU hasn't lost to the Aggies in 10 years. We'll see if Utah State can break that streak. I am live at Vivint Smart Home Arena, Dana Green, ABC4 Sports. Thank you very much, Dana. President